Chrysler Airflow is dead and Halcyon is here. While there is a feeling that the Airflow could be a production vehicle, the Halcyon is definitely an all-electric concept. Chrysler doesn't mention powertrains, performance or range estimates, but it's based on an actual platform. And it's packed from top to bottom with systems designed to help drivers connect with the vehicle. The Chrysler Halcyon is very low, with its nose just 4 inches off the ground. The front and rear doors open a full 90 degrees, revealing a spacious interior with no B pillars. To facilitate entry, the roof panels open in a gullwing style, creating something that looks more like a 1980s T-top than a futuristic concept. At the back there is a modest trunk hidden under the flat rear window and the smooth shape of the rear of the car. To our eyes it's a very clean shape that's attractive if a bit anonymous. Under the skin is the Stellantis SDLA large platform. This is the same setup that the upcoming Dodge Charger Daytona EV will use, and there are other connections worth mentioning. Chrysler states that the Halcyon uses an 800-volt architecture, that's to be expected from the high-performance Charger Daytona Banshee. The body features plenty of aerodynamic tricks, including a large crossover at the front where air is directed through the grille and over the hood. This is another feature of the Charger Daytona, considering that Dodge is scheduled to launch on March 5th. Maybe Halcyon isn't as conceptual as we thought. A look at Chrysler's list of technology systems will convince you otherwise. Chrysler says the Halcyon has level 4 self-driving capability, highlighted by a fully retractable steering wheel and pedal arrangement, allowing the driver to be just a passenger for the trip. To that end, there's a neat stargazing mode that changes the opacity of the glass and reclines the seat so you can see the stars. There's a large transparent display up front, from pillar to post, and an increased, full-screen head-up display can distribute information to people inside whether they're driving or not. Powering everything is a lithium-sulfur battery of unknown output. This is where it gets a little weird, and even a little scary. Chrysler mentions that Halcyon makes extensive use of artificial intelligence for a customizable driver experience. In this experience, the car greets you with a special light and sound screen as you approach. It prepares itself for the ride, taking into account everything from weather conditions to your daily schedule, depending on the car. Chrysler's vision for Halcyon is one in which car and driver have a legitimate, personal connection. It doesn't end with just saying hello. Biometric scanners recognize you, and once you're inside, the car makes soothing sounds and sets everything up just the way you want it. The stress-relieving sound is visualized on the car's screens, creating an audio-visual experience that reminds us of Disney's Fantasia. And when you get to your destination, the car gives you all kinds of special send-offs with even more sounds and lights. Chrysler calls this a harmony in motion. There's no indication from Chrysler that the Halcyon will enter production in any form seen here. But this is another step towards the company launching its first EV in 2025 and becoming an all-electric brand by 2028.